Cool. Uh, cool. So uh, my name is Mott. Uh, I recently moved to LA and a uh, member of JSLA. JSLA is effing awesome. And uh, I'm going to show you guys today. So for module of the month, we're going to do .env. So we'll just do a quick five minutes. Um, but how many of you guys do configuration in your apps? So you're doing things like database configuration or like email, that sort of thing, right? So .env is a way to do those configurations, but with a little more Unix approach with your environment variables. So rather than talk about it a bunch, uh, I'm going to set up like we're going to do a little demo web app, all right? And I don't know if you guys saw recently Uber did like the kitten delivery. So this is inspired from the kitten delivery, but we're going to deliver cat gifs via email. So this is cat env, so dot env, cat env. Um, Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's run this app, right? Or if we take a look at this app, uh, we've got like our SMTP host, username and password. So let's set up our username and password to send this uh, via email. And we're gonna do effing awesome is our password. All right, and let's run this app. So it's running, right? This is just a little happy JS app. Cool, check your email, meow. We're getting some emails, right? So if I come back here, check my personal email, Fresh that. There we go. So we get some cat gifs, right? But if you took, take a look at our code, what we've done there is we've set up username and password just in our code. So if we deploy this up or someone gets a hold of our code, our configs are in there, that sort of thing, right? Uh, so let's take a different approach to it. Let's use .env and let's actually set those credentials up. So the first step with .env is to load the module. So we're going to do that. So we're going to say .env, require, .env, okay, and then we call .env.load. And .env.load looks for a .env file. And in that .env file is where we're going to put our actual config. So instead of like a JSON file or that sort of thing, locally on development we have a .env file, and that's going to read in to our environment variables, and you'll see at the end how that gets transposed very, very well if you're pushing up to production. So let's create that .env file. And for the sake of time, I've created it already. So SMTP host, username, password. So let's come over here, and instead of having these hard-coded in, we're going to do process.env and the name of the variable we set over in our env file. So in this case, SMTP host. So also, for the sake of time, let's just put those in there real fast. Okay, so, so we created a .env file, we set up the configs this way, now the configs aren't in our code, right? The .env file we don't actually commit to our Git repository, it lives just locally. So let's just run this again, just to test it. So localhost 3000, let's get a new cat gif, meow. Another one, oh that's pretty good. Using the force. <laughs> All right, so let's come back, check our email, delivery's in progress, so we should be getting these. Okay, cool, right? So we moved our configs, things are still working the same way. You can do this with other config systems as well, like nconf, that sort of thing, but usually you're using a config.json file and then you've gotta put that up on your production servers as well. .env makes this really simple because let's say this is production right now. So actually, does someone wanna receive cat gifs? Okay, what's your email? Okay, awesome, that's easy. Oops. Right here. So I'm gonna set the to address as an environment variable, so I could literally be saying export to uh, on your production server. I'm gonna do david at js.la, and I'm gonna run the app. And so now that to address that was before reading from .env is being overridden, so pretend .env doesn't even exist, and this is your production server, you know, the guy doing all your ops has set everything up, uh, now we can run this, run the same stuff, check your email, and David will be receiving emails right now. So he should get a bunch of cat meows. So say meow when you receive an email, David. Okay, cool. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That's, that's .env. Uh, it's made here in LA. It's a bunch of us that have actually built it. Jacob's one of the ones that's also worked on it. Um, so that's .env. Use it in your projects. It's really cool. Thanks for having me. Thank you.